welcome to a new video a uh, long time no talking with you but uh, here i am in a new environment so uh, i rented a new place for a living and i have a this cool looking room and looking set up uh, tell me how you like it down in the comments below and uh, let's get started with the video so uh, today i will be talking about what is cinematic and what things do you need to know before you start using the word cinematic so stay tuned Today, cinematic has a lot of applications, especially in this YouTube era, but what generally cinematic refers to is anything related to the cinema or the movies. Let me just say in front that I don't want to start a conversation about what style is considered to be cinematic, but I would rather talk about technical aspect of it because even a static shot can be cinematic if done properly. So in this video I will be talking about three technical aspects of the video. Uh, the three most important things that people are doing wrong, especially on a YouTube, because uh, nowadays it's uh, popular to think that you can just slap cinematic on anything and it's instantly cinematic because uh, you did a cool transition or uh, some kind of color grade which is even not a color grade. Let's talk about technical things and then we can talk about expressions or expressing ourselves because uh, cinematic is usually a style that uh, evokes emotions so if you don't evoke emotion with your video it's not cinematic actually. Expressing ourselves it's different from people to people, from man to man, from shooter to shooter so uh, that's uh, also something to be noted. Let's start with number one. It's the frame rate. So know your frame rate. If you are shooting in an NTC mode, NTC region of world, you have to use 24 frames per second. If you are using uh, 25 frames per second, then you have to be in a pole region area. So uh, that's the first thing you need to know about frame rates. Also, if you are using higher frame rates, you need to know that you have to slow them down, people, slow them down. If you are using 60 frames per second, that means you, you will have to slow down your footage by 40%, or if you are using 120 frames per second, you will have to slow down your footage by 80% because it fits the sequence settings, I mean the timeline of 24 frames per second, which is considered to be cinematic. Why? Because movies are filmed in a 24, uh, sorry, 24 frames per second. Of course, there's some different kind of frame rates that you can use for uh, different purposes. Uh, for example, 30 frames per second, which is commonly used on TV. But if we are talking about cinematic, that's 24 frames per second, it's the standard, but if you are using 25, uh, be sure that you are in pole region, as I said it before. The rule number two, or the mistake number two, is the shutter speed. So I'm perfectly aware that people are using all kind of cameras for YouTube, especially phone cameras, which don't have the possibility to set up your shutter speed. This applies only to people that are using camera. So you have to set your shutter speed double the frame rate that you are using. So if you are shooting in 24 frames per second, you have to use double of that. So it's the 50, the closest one is the 50. The perfect one for the PAL area, it's 25, so the 50. If you are shooting in the 60 frames per second, you have to use a shutter speed of, of 120. Also for 120, you have to use 240. Why? Because it gives you a natural blur. So if you are uh, seeing videos where people are moving like uh, robots or kind of like robots, uh, that's the misuse of the shutter speed. So uh, when people are seeing each other, they don't see the sharp movement with no uh, blur. So if I move your uh, move my hand in front of your face, you will probably see that it's hand, but not perfectly uh, sharp, I would say. So it has kind of, uh, some kind of blur. So uh, if you want to call something cinematic, it has to have that kind of blur. So natural feeling, natural looking feeling. Third mistake, it's the color grade. So this is the most misused technique or most uh, misused uh, 
tool at your disposal because uh, a lot of camera, even uh, intermediate cameras have a log options. So everybody thinks that they have to film in the log mode and that's not the true actually. So if you are not uh, familiar with the things or the techniques with the color grading process or color correction process, it's better to use just uh, simple colors that are uh, straight out of your camera because uh, it will look more natural. Don't overdo it people, it's simple as that. Color grading is expression and uh, through color grading you are expressing your feelings, mood and also you want to evoke feelings from people that are watching your video. So be careful with the color grade. If I'm seeing a wacky color grade, I will instantly hit the shutdown button of the video and I'm stopping watching. If you want from people to feel something, you have to color grade your footage properly. Let me know people in the comments down below what you think about these things and uh, I will gladly answer all of your questions. If you have any, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a like of course and we'll be seeing each other in the next one. Until then, be safe people, stay creative and I talk to you soon. Peace.